Welcome to PreciousMetalsInvesting.com. My name is Ted Sudol, and I have the pleasure of having as my guest today, Paul Magenovic. Paul is the author of Stock Investing for Dummies, Precious Metals Investing for Dummies, and lots of other books. <laughs> well, you know, Ted, it's interesting. It's good to be back on board. Uh, thank you for having me back. And uh, you, you and I discussed before the camera about the war on cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. And actually, between you and me, what do we say? Well, what did you expect? When the, whenever, you know, the uh, uh, governments of the world who would like to run their own currencies, I mean, for 2,000 years they had a love-hate relationship with gold. Right. You think they're not going to have a love-hate relationship with cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrencies, you know, uh, the, the uh, ultimate intention was to make it as a, a means of exchange and as a different store of value that was going to be above and beyond and separate from the world of currencies like the U.S. dollar, the British pound, the euro, the yen, etc. And but, of course, above and beyond the control of the world governments. Exactly. But the thing you have to keep in mind is at the moment, government bureaucrats ranging from the politicians to the central bank authorities, once they start seeing that there's some kind of uh, competitive uh, situation going on in terms of currencies, then they know that, look, they have to guard the turf. So this is why, with cryptocurrencies, you've seen more and more saber-rattling by the governments of the world about, you know, more regulation, more control, etc. And the thing is, I mean, I, I think cryptocurrencies will still be here, you know, in the uh, foreseeable future. But how it's going to be morphed into it to uh, take into effect regulation and some other governmental effects, possibly currency controls and things of this nature, that remains to be seen. But a lot of this stuff... I think is on the way, and I think that uh, the first time you and I discussed cryptocurrencies when we first heard about them, and they say, oh, an alternative to uh, precious metals, and more likely an alternative to a lot of the currencies out there, and uh, the, you know the dollar, etc. And my thinking was, there's too many people out there who might have seen cryptocurrencies as a way to, I don't know, uh, try to be get off the, uh, the, uh, the currency bandwagon or the fiat currency system thinking they could have private transaction that was outside the purview of the government, especially things like the tax authorities or the, uh, or the currency ma ma mavens out there. No, they, you know, they, there's going to be a lot more uh, involvement with governments in these things. Right? And that's you know? been in the news lately that cryptocurrencies are going to come under some sort of government reg regulation. And I think uh, Paul is right that they want to protect their turf or they want to get their piece. You know what? Exactly. In other words, if they don't have their own turf, they'll get a piece of your turf. So uh, so you'll see more of this uh, probably to come. But the, the, should that discourage you? Well, here's the thing. Um, the way a lot of the currencies of the world work, you don't know which ones are going to have a currency crisis a year from now or whatever. So I think some participation in cryptocurrencies is not a bad thing. I think in many respects... It could be a good thing, but of course, do it the right way. You know, be clear with the rules, clear about things such as, you know, reporting potential income, or if you're having any gains with cryptocurrencies, you know, there might be capital gains involved. As long as you're upfront about this, it shouldn't be an issue, and it's still a form of diversification away from the currencies of the world. And so I, again, you know, tread carefully. In that I day. think that's an important uh, word that it is a diversification. Uh, more you know, diversification, be careful about that. Anyway, thank you, Ted. Thank you for being with us today at uh, PreciousMetalsInvesting.com. I'd urge all of the viewers here to listen to the Precious Metals of Investing podcast. It's available on iTunes for Apple users. It's available on Google Play for Android users. And make sure you pick up a copy of uh, Paul's book, Precious Metals Investing for Dummies. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Ted. See you next time.